Oh shit. I still can't believe that you don't like the rumors. I mean, think about what the woman with whiskey. Hopefully, she's able to get it, but you should be ashamed of myself. Slapped in public <laughs> by someone with hands as big as Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> What we drinking today, man? You know something? Hey, I'm drunk, Lil. Lil, I'm drunk. And you know something? It's beautiful. What we drinking today, man? Um, I don't want to get into the particulars, um, but I know that a bottle of Cavatier and a lady would definitely be involved. What we drinking? Yo, what's good, family? I'm King Napes. But in here, and this is another episode of What We Drinking. And today, family, we're bringing to you none other than the Elijah Craig from Heaven Hill, the A122. I'm excited. You, every, I think everybody, if you're in the bourbon world, if you follow, if you're a hunter, these are one of those annual releases that everybody's going to go for. Everyone, if you're a reviewer, you want to get that bottle and review, right? So we just want to get into how does it taste and how does it compare to its you know previous predecessors. So we will be doing a review of the A122. And we're gonna also, you know, we're gonna taste and review and how we feel about it from the A121. Cause I think that might feel better. We can always talk about the C921 if we want to go to the B batch from last year, but we just gonna do a one to one for one. That's it. We're gonna go one for one comparison, man. So we're gonna dig right into this. But before we jump into that, I just wanna ask y'all, man, how y'all feeling about this? Will y'all have any upfront expectations? Do you like the fact that they still are lower in the A in the proof of this, right? Just coming in at 120.8. Does that concern you all? Because Elijah Craig is supposed I mean, to be you the remember, high you remember my, proof monster. My saying last year with the A121 from the top of the bottle to the middle of the bottle was garbage. <laughs> mm. And then after that, it got real good. So, so with yeah. time, with I, I'm, I'm thinking once it gets halfway, once it gets right there to where it says Craig, that's when it's going to start to get good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is a like, fresh crack. Yeah, you fresh crack. Yeah, just to open this um, I'm, you know, always kind of in the middle with the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. I like them. I don't love them, love them like everybody. I don't go crazy for them. I think it was the B521. Yeah. Um, it was the lowest probably ABV that's been. It was like 118. And I think everyone, 118. that was when everybody didn't enjoy, right? It was I, okay, yeah. I liked and it, yeah, it. You, you really I liked it. it. Yep. It was okay. Um, I, last year, it wasn't anything that really was special to me about any of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. A lot of people will disagree. I saw it on uh, two or three. Um, top 21 list from last year, so. Okay, all right, then. I don't know, I wouldn't have put it in the top 21s, but I mean, they were good. They just didn't blow me away to where I would expect you to put them into a top 21 after, with everything that came yeah, out last year. I just, I think I always expect the Logic Craig Barrel Proofs to be exactly what it is. It's, it's supposed to be this high proof monster. And I think the lower ABVs are kind of getting away from what I think is the idea of what these barrel proofs should be. So now you're really comparing it to say, does it taste good to even consider to constantly keep buying batch after batch after batch versus, you know, I'm supposed to just continually get a high, high, high. I mean, you're going to get the piece the, of herb. The, the ABV is going to fluctuate from year to year, no matter what. You, if you get them, then you're getting them just to to compare year from year to see which year you like best. So is but it, it starting to look like Stag then? Stag Juniors? Where Stag Juniors, same way, right? Is it really, is it that competitor? Really with Heaven Hill to say, well, you all have a Stag Junior that every you know season we drop and that's what we I do. Mean, we just review yeah, batches. Yeah, a lot of folks would um, say that this is you know competitive, but my thing is just because you have a 120 or 121 or 118 or 119. It's still barrel proof. It it doesn't have to be 136. It doesn't have to be you know okay. damn near hazmat or whatever for it to still be good. That, for me, yeah. All right, well that's what's up, man. Hey, so on the nose, fellas, what we getting? 
I get a lot of barrel char. Yeah. yeah. I get a lot of like burnt candy, like like a creme brulee. I love the oak in it, man. I love the, I love that nice oak note. I I, just, I I do like the a. I like this dropping in this time of season because it feels like a you know very cold. You know, yeah, I mean, smokiness, camp, you know, campfirey feel. I like to go mm -hmm. high ABV. Yeah, in, in the drinking the high ABV. That's in it. The, in the summer, it, it gets a little rough. It That's little, it. It gets a little tough to be out there on the grill, drinking one twenty five, one thirty. Yeah, and still making sure that you're flipping the burgers right. I do get like a hit of a see from the white towel. Yeah, that's it. I'm, 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 I'm getting prepped. I'm that. getting, I'm getting and, prepped for the summer. And trust me, the AC is all and the heat is off in this house. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which is what under so the light. Couldn't do it at the car okay. for sure. <laughs> so what we got? What we got on the taste, fellas? Hey, man, man, let's pour it up. Uh, I did it again. <laughs> Shot in your eye. Nah, oh, nah. Hit the table. The lob mic. Forget about the <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Somebody, I shot in my eye, that was funny. Somebody's gonna be there. When that, when that jump popped me in the eye, that was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. That's good, though. The, mm. uh, okay. I, I, I like it. The creme brulee. Uh, it, I get like the, it's a sugary kind of. That's a very good, that's a very good. Yeah, but I just got oh. the sugary taste. <laughs> like it tastes oh, my bad. Sweet. I didn't hear you just say that. Did you just <laughs> say that? My bad. That's that's my right. I want to give him the correct. tip of the cap. That was a good, that's actually a very good, I, I like that. That's a very good pull. And then me did, that is a but very, very good But it seems sweeter pool. than some of the other ones from last year that I remember. Yeah, yeah like, they me. were, the other ones, some of, like the, I think the C921 and the one, the A920, I mean the A121, had a lot more barrel char to it. But this, you can smell the barrel char, but, I get but you don't this. get that big of a taste of it. Like Seriously? I get a sweetness. I get an yeah. oak. I definitely get yeah, that. You want to get that, but it's not, I know you can't say that. To me, it's there. Like it's there, and it's it's, it's, it's more prominent defined. in the sweetness. Yeah, to me, it's well defined. That oaky, that oakiness. There's a cinnamon note to it, which is why I liked your creme brulee uh, uh, depiction, which you used. Say it again. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Shut the hell up, man. You know what I'm Listen, <laughs> listen <laughs> I am not <laughs> about to sit and have addiction. <laughs> I'm going to get it, man. You got all the juice and no toothbrush. Right. It was a struggle <laughs> like for you on that. I, wanted, I don't want to go into this you with you. Tackle right? you like you did the teacher. All right. I'm a medulla. Ablangata. Mama said, <laughs> "Alligators, <"Dilly laughs> but make angry. I'll get angry on right. whatever that joint said. Don't make they me angry. Got all them teeth and no right. toothbrush. Right, exactly. Don't make me mad. Okay, Madula Ablangata. All right. <laughs> but let's get back to this drink. And I, I get again. I like the depiction because I do get the cinnamon. Yeah. But it's definitely the oak, and I'm still feeling that finish. All right. so Which, oh, I will finish. say the long finish is against the eight range one. Yeah, but, the uh, long finish is there. So, but no, is it good though? Before I, we, no, I said you, it was good. You like it, yeah? So you definitely enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy it. How pretty, about you? Good, good one. Good. Yeah, good. I would have to say. Where's the bottle at? You got the A one twenty one, right? Mm -hmm. Where's Where's the the level at? Where's it been? How far has it been drained down? Well, see if it's gotten to that that, to that sweet point. So yeah, we're gonna get to the we're gonna we not we we right under yeah, crate. Right 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 we right over the crate. Right? Right? It's, it's so, still okay right at that point. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try with the A121. Now you know A121 is coming in at high proof. So this is 123.6, right? So we definitely, from what my perspective is, we're gonna get a high hit on this. Or at least I would expect a little bit of a high hey. hit on this this bottle, this particular brand of bottle. Honestly, right? it tastes watery compared to that. You already decided. I, I just sipped it. I just did a quick little sip. So the nose. Did you did you cleanse thing. your palate? No. You don't get the creme okay. brulee. But it but it doesn't give me the same feeling as the other one did. So I know what I'm looking for. I've been doing this for a minute. Oh, okay. So now you you that type of professional now. Huh? I mean, I've been through a couple bottles before. So I, <laughs> so I think I'm, I think I just earned the honor of degree. So I will say this from a fresh crack perspective to a bottle that we know has been sitting. I'm not getting smells, a lot of the upfront. Yes, I'm not getting a lot of upfront notes as prominent as yeah. I got out of the A122. Yeah. Um, but look, color feel wise, the same. I'm not really seeing much of a change in color wise. Nice, I did nice. The, 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 vis the viscosity yeah. is there for both. But I'm, I'm find all that. This is a 
barrel proof. It's definitely it's going to stick to the glass. It's at barrel proof. Yeah, but I'm not getting. Any, what about you, man? How about you? Are you are you? What are you? What are your leanings? Now you can go check out our A one twenty one review if you want to get a lot of the details on what we talked about as far as the taste and no. I, I thought we you talk- find it. <laughs> Check it out, but <laughs> let me know when you find it. <laughs> it's it's hidden. Hidden. Yes. It is <laughs> so if you want to check that out, come check us out on Patreon. <laughs> we got a ghost episode that we're gonna be posting for y'all for all of our Patreon subscribers. You wanna talk about that review, but what what are you getting, man? How are you feeling? Like where are you leaning? Are you leaning more 22, 21? What's your thoughts? Out of this. Now you I, said twenty two. You like twenty two twenty back to the uh we need to get this one below. What'd you say? Yeah, yeah right there the at the Craig. That's when they start to... Is it at Craig? No, nah, it's, it's at the top of the Craig. It's at the bottom of the Elijah. So it's yeah. it's still going to be on a, yeah, I, I it's on not, a mediocre level. I right tend now. not to drink my barrel cruise a lot. You know what I mean? I try to savor them over time. So, yeah, that was not going to see the crushing blows say, of uh, usage. It's more of a... Not, I don't want to say like tart. It, it's not... I got a sweeter uh, sip. On the palate. What about like a twenty two? What about yeah. a spiciness? Like, a, do you get more of a? I'm getting more of a spice on the A one twenty one. I mean, I get I, peanut, and that's kind of you know Heaven Hill from mm-hmm. the A one twenty one. But it's definitely you said dull. Yeah. Um, on the nose. But even like just the taste is it? It's it's like doesn't it's it feel watery? Um, I mean, I could go with that, but I, I mean, it doesn't have the the. The upfront flavor of the the one twenty, yeah, the one twenty two. So okay, now I, I feel I'm not. I don't know if I say dull for me. I think I do get a little bit of a spicier note, but I will definitely say the A one twenty two brings out more flavor for me oh, than yeah. the A one twenty one. Definitely oh, yeah. get more flavor out of this. Um, so to me, more of a, more of a approachable drink. For me, then I would say the A one twenty one. I think it's more complex. The the the, the flavors in it are, are more layered. Yeah, you get more. So we could. So do we agree? Elijah Craig A one twenty one. Heaven Hill has started out the gate for twenty twenty two. Better pretty, than they did last pretty, year. Pretty solid. Ah, uh, more approachable. You like that? I like so that. The A one twenty one. That's the. The rest in bitch face. <laughs> this one, you might pull up yeah. at the bar. Say something to it. Yeah, say right. something to it. See, see if uh, you know how's your day been. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like I want to immediately get uh, I'm King Nate. Get hitched. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I definitely say more appropriate. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying that. So that I was think so. similar to when we had the what was the 16 and the 17 mm, mm-hmm. of the the stag how you could just taste the difference down. in the sweetness I'm gonna go I back can. to this yeah, yeah it's, right it's, there. it's right there yeah, I'm gonna go back to my 22 cause I, I do I actually I, I actually like this and again another thing to note I am leaning to the 22 it is a I'm, lower proof the higher proof was still A121 with the 123 I didn't, am leaning with that 120 I don't know it just didn't I didn't bring what I thought it would bring. With the 22? No, 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 the 20. 20. Well, that's fine, right? Yeah. So then, fam, that brings us to our next, how we always like to do here. We're talking about the five bottle rating for what we drink it. We like to rate our bottles on, you know, pretty much simplistic things. What does the taste, the smell, finish? We're talking about the price. And, hey, we love the look of the bottle. But more importantly, will it make the cookout, right? How does the community feel about this bottle? So I'm going to go ahead and start this one off and for this one, A122, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a solid 2.5. I'm going to give this a 2.5 bottle. Right? Yeah, 2.5 bottles. Uh, I like the fact that you do get that sweet cinnamon note. You do get some of that oakiness, which I think you should get from a barrel proof. Oh, definitely. Uh, the bottle... Eh, it's a bottle. I'm not wowed by it. You know, it's it's like a staple for this particular brand. It's like the regular but, yeah, 94 it's, yeah, it's not a wow factor for me. Price wise, you got MSRP, this bottle is 60 bucks. I caught it in the wild for around 80 bucks, which I think for a barrel proof Elijah Craig, anything that's under a hundred dollars, I think is acceptable for this particular type of barrel proof for that bottle when you're looking for it. I think that's acceptable. Above that, no, never that. And for the community, never. I don't think this ever goes to the cookout. It does not become a popular item. 
whether you're talking about intermediates for us professionals yes this is a fan favorite for real drinkers in any given situation but that's my 2.5 man bottles on that man but what you talking about what's your rate on a 122 i give it a three because uh yeah it's definitely not going to the cookout mm. the bottle is it's a staple. They already they made it a staple because you know you'll be able to pick a larger Craig out of anywhere now. That's true. They all look the same. That's true. Uh, except for the you got the black label, so that's what your, your eyes go from there to seeing the bottle to go down and see the black label. Um, the taste of it is they came out stronger in taste instead of proof than they did last year, which I'm a fan of on this one. So we'll see how it ages compared to the 121. So, as I said earlier, I'm going to go with three bottles. Okay. That's actually a solid number, man. Three that bottles, that's a solid number. Can't get right, a.k.a. Nose Blind, a.k.a. Bottle Huntress. What's your rate, bro? Um, I, so, for me, I just think Elijah Craig is probably, it's my palate. I, it doesn't match my palate. I'm more of a, you know, Booker's type of... What's that? Uncut, what's that uncut palette filter. thing? I don't know, but I, I just I've never been blown away by any Elijah Craig barrel proof, and I've had many of them. From the, I mean, I won't go back too far, but 19 C19, all of the 20s, 21s, now the 22, it just doesn't seem to, okay, you know, evoke the same kind of emotion that, and definitely not three, but I, I'll give it a two, two and a half. It's not bad. It's not, um, you know, great. Doesn't blow my socks off. Mm. Bottle is boring. I definitely know that cookout wise, it's not making it. It's not gonna make nah. it. Uh, and then, you know, it's just, it's not special. Right down the middle, it's average. All right, that's it, man. So family, hey, this is our bottle rating. So we can say based on that, this is pretty much average now. We agree. This is around a two and a half, close to maybe 275. We ever really was to do that. But it can but, still be a bottle, right? I mean, yeah. No. I, it's, it's, it's a pickup if you see it. Just because. MSRP. Yeah. I don't think I would pay me 90. You know, we, we split stuff here cost wise, whatever, but Hunter is pushing it for this. Oh, okay. yeah. To me. That's cool. Oh, Anything over 75. Yeah, no, no, I like said 90 bucks. I wouldn't go over 100. I would not pay over 100 bucks yeah. for this. Yeah, yeah. 80 is a stretch. Yeah, I paid 90 bucks. I, 83, actually, I paid 83 bucks for this. So, yeah, yeah. Th that's a solid window for me, right? Yeah. More than that, yeah, I, I can argue to say, yeah, leave that on the shelf, man. But hey, family, this has been another episode of What We Drinking and our review of the Elijah Craig A122. Hey, look, be on the lookout because we're going to get the rest of them. As they keep dropping them, we're going to keep reviewing them. As always, family, I'm King Napes, Bud and Hill, and make sure you check us out on our Patreon, What We Drinking. Please, family, drink responsibly, but more importantly, just drink. Love. What are we doing today, man?